The murder of Eliana has spread throughout the country. News organizations from coast to coast have picked up the horrific story that came to a sad conclusion last night. News Channel 15's Randy Spieth joins me now. And Randy, just how much attention has this story gotten? Well, Mark, uh, Allen County Sheriff Ken Fries told me earlier today he spent more than 12 hours dealing with media from all over. Now, four days ago, Eliana Lemon was a missing nine year old girl. Now she's the, the a girl an entire nation is talking about. Neighbors and friends began mourning the disappearance of Eliana Lemon before Christmas. Now the news of her death has swept the entire nation. It's uh, past 24 hours. I think once the, the word got out, the, the gravity of the crime, I think, is, is what sickens everyone. News Channel 15's Drew Blair told Northeast Indiana the story earlier this evening. Michael Plumador remains in custody tonight without bond. He is due in court this Friday. More than an hour later, neighbors who lived a few miles away stood outside around the crime scene while Drew spread the news to the entire country with CNN's Nancy Grace. Many small pieces and distributing those, some to a dumpster, some he kept in his own freezer. Even crazier. I'm using that term very loosely because I don't want the lawyers to start saying this guy's insane. As more details are released, more people will be touched. I think any child that comes up missing, it needs to have national attention at all times. It seemed to pique the interest of everybody in the nation, and understandably so. I mean, it's a horrific crime that happens to a child, and, and everybody's concerned about that. Those are the people we're supposed to protect in our society, and, and it's just been nonstop from uh, probably 7:30 this morning till. 7 30 8 o'clock tonight. County Sheriff Ken Freeze told me he had all types of media outlets from every corner of the country call him about this case. Also, today, our cameras saw Aliana's mother, Tara Salders, for the first time. She was wheelchaired into a candlelight vigil held around 6 30 this evening. I spoke to former high school classmates of Tara who said they had spoken to her nearly 30 minutes earlier for about 30 minutes earlier today. They told me she's temporarily paralyzed from the waist down. Tara and her stepfather kept to themselves at tonight's vigil. As you see, the news has hurt her tremendously. We were told today that the FBI has asked the family not to speak to me at this time, Mark. And uh, Mark Tara's friends and classmates said that she should be able to walk again.